In this presentation, we look at a simple posting to a customer and another posting to a vendor. Now let's look at posting a financial posting to a customer. I hope you have seen the business partner videos and uh, you'd have gone through the theory and practical information on how we can create a business partner for customers and vendors. If you have uh, not recalled that, let me just quickly show you. We can go to BP transaction code and then we click on organization and we can create our master data over here. Now, if you don't see this ID displayed like this, you can see the ID plus a description. Then the easiest way to set that up is to go here, customize local layout, options, visualization one, and tick these two checkboxes under controls. Then you'll be able to see the ID and the description because sometimes you might have with the same description, but you will not be able to see the ID. So you'll not be able to choose which is the correct ID to create your customers and vendors. Now I'm going to choose FL C once that's over here, customer financial accounting, FLCU00. This is a standard one provided by the system. I'm going to cl click on create. You can use 0001 internal number assignment if it's available for you. Click on create and I'm going to give it an ID, for example, company. Here I'll call it ABC Limited. And search term, I'll put ABC, put the address in, let's say 500. I put the street over here, Kingsbury Street, address is number 500, postal code 60601, Chicago, country US, region Illinois. And then I have to put the language as well. There's also mandatory field. I'm just going to choose English over here. Then I'm going to click on company code data. Company code, I'm going to specify my company code, which I set up earlier. And then I'm going to click on the reconciliation account. I have already created one reconciliation account. I hope you can recall. That is the accounts receivable reconciliation account for domestic customers. So I'm going to choose that. When you drop down here, you'll only see the reconciliation account, which is available. And that's specific to your accounts receivable as well. And then simply save the transaction. I'm just putting the basic information for now. And you get a number saying this business partner was created. No doubt that number for future use. Now let's look at doing the customer invoice posting. You can do this option via the GUI menu path, accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry, FB70 to post the customer invoice. Now FB70 is to only be able to post customer invoice. You don't use this to post vendor invoice because this has been specifically designed for customer. Use another transaction code to post your vendor invoices. For FB70 invoice, this transaction, you also have a corresponding Fiori app as well. You can use that using your web menu path. Now FB70, I'm just going to double click on that. That brings you to the screen. You can see a transaction is used R for invoice. You also have the option of posting a credit memo also. But we are going to just use invoice for now. And enter the customer ID. I hope you have copied your previous customer number you have used, you have used to create. Invoice date, so let's say I'm going to put 15th of February 2020. Reference, I'll call it as test customer. And then posting date, so let me say I'm going to post it as um, probably 18th of February 2020. Amount, I can specify the amount over here, so I'm going to specify $600. And I'm not going to specify any tax amount now. Let's see if the system is asking for it or whether I could skip without posting any tax amount for now. Test header text. I'm going to say testing of customer invoice posting. You can specify something like that. Now, because you have entered all the customer related information over here, the only other thing you need to enter is a GL account to which account you're going to post this. Generally, you post a revenue GL account because you're going to get some revenue from the customer. So I hope you have created a revenue GL account by now. If you're not, you can just simply go and create one. If it's zero, zero, I'm going to create a revenue account. So I'm going to start my revenue account starting with the four. So I'm going to put four zero one double zero one. Click on this GL account type, primary cost or revenue, account group, revenues, short text. I'm going to say, um, domestic revenue and here I'll also call it domestic revenue 
control data i'm just going to keep this simple usd over there no i'm not going to specify anything over here cost element category i'm going to specify revenues over here and then i'm just going to go to create bank intersection probably use a standard one even though there's option to put revenue accounts i'm not going to specify that now because i'm just going to keep a simple option of using this general text assignment and save the transaction 401001 so let's see if I can use that over here without having to exit the screen. That is domestic revenue. Amount in document currency, I'll say 600. And then I can probably specify the profit center to where this revenue needs to go. So if you can't see the screen fully expanded, just double click on that line. Just bypass that line item over here, double click on this, and you can specify some more information over here. And if you don't, you can also put some assignment, text field, all those information you can specify. Click on more data and you can see, put in your profit center if you want. I've already created one profit center, so let me just specify that over here. Press OK to continue. And then let me just go back. Let me see if I can just skip that process. And let's see if I can simulate this. That's fine. Press OK to bypass that. So you're going to get a debit entry against your customer ABC Limited and a credit entry against your revenue GL account 401001 domestic revenue over here. And then let's see whether we can post this. Press enter to bypass these warning messages. And you should get a message document was posted successfully in company code M001. You can go to document and display the document as well. Now let's look at creating a vendor and we'll proceed to do with a vendor posting. So I'm just going to the transaction BP. And then I'm going to click on organization over here. Select grouping internal number assignment. Business partner, I'm going to choose this option for vendor that will also start with the FLVN00 supplier financial accounting click on create title I'm going to specify the company name I'm going to specify office supplies limited let's call it as office here and then here supplies this was some search term you can easily search if you have so many vendors already created in the system street number i'm going to say park view avenue i'm going to put 600 postal code Keep similar postal code over there city chicago it is chicago and then here i just take out the space extra spacing over there country us and then region select Illinois and language I'll specify English there it is go to company code data over there specify my company code M001 press enter specify the reconstruction account I have already created accounts payable reconstruction account domestic vendors I'll use that one sort key let's use 001 for now and then simply save the transaction and that should create my business partner. Now down the business partner number. Now let's look at posting a vendor invoice. We can go through the SAP GUI menu path, accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry, FB60 you can use to post a vendor invoice. You also have a corresponding Fury app for this. Let me just execute FB60 for now. And you can specify the vendor. So I hope you have copied the vendor you have created already. I think it's 86 for me and the invoice date the it is it's coming up over there and the invoice date um, okay, let's say so for example i can put something like this 0303 2020 reference let's call it test vendor there it is amount say 750 us dollars i'm not going to specify any tax for now just keep it simple testing of vendor invoice posting there you go and expense account i'm going to specify an expense account so i'm going to choose for the gl account section 501 probably going to use stationary expense there it is amount 750 and just press enter in your keyboard 
it's going to get a message there it doesn't matter just press keep on pressing enter and it's asking for an assignment to a CEO object that's a cost object the cost object we're going to specify is a cost center so you can either drag to this side and specify the cost center over here or even if you double click double click on this line you'll get the necessary fields to fill it so I'm going to specify the cost center I'm just going to specify a cost center I have created one cost center I think it starts with a C if I'm not mistaken let me just delete that part and search there it is I'm just going to put it to my admin cost center for now press enter to continue all good you got a green light to go click on simulate and then ready to post you can see the vendor entry is a debit entry and the stationary expense is going to be a um, so vendor entry is a credit entry and your expense account is going to be a debit entry over here and you can see by gl account you'll always get a posting key of either 40 for debit entry or a 50 for a credit entry for vendor account you can see a posting key as 31 has been already applied by the system the 31 posting key if you go and look at this posting key uh, presentation you will see 31 is specifically for a vendor and it's for a credit entry and I'm just going to simply save the transaction and you can see a document number was generated you can display the document go to document and display and you can also copy down this document number for future reference and you can see this in a much more nicer view over here now in this presentation we saw how to post a simple document posting one for a customer invoice and one for a vendor invoice what we have seen here is to post a simple financial accounting invoice document for both the customers and the vendors we have not used the complete process path of for example if you want to create a purchase order where you want to buy something from a supplier you raise a purchase order you give the purchase order to your suppliers and then you need to do a goods receipt you do an invoice receipt during the invoice receipt you the invoice receipt transaction and that generates a vendor invoice line item so that is a full end-to-end -end, uh, of the purchasing process but what we have done here is to show a direct financial accounting invoice this financial accounting invoice method we saw for example for vendor FB70 is when you don't want to raise a purchase order and you simply want to create a financial accounting invoice so you're not just direct you're not going to get any goods item or anything you're simply raising an invoice and this is normally done for items where you get some invoices for something like a fine or um, some other type of um, maintenance fees for some specifically like your building maintenance or sometimes even some uh, like a council fees or something you can always create a, a direct financial accounting invoice so you don't have to go through the process of raising a purchase order and so on so that's why you use this financial accounting invoice to uh, you to create a vendor accounting document Similarly, for customer also, we created a financial accounting invoice. We did not go through the sales order process. Otherwise, you'll be having the billing, the goods issue, the entire sales order related process. Sales order, billing, goods issue, goods issue or billing, whatever process you follow. That is a separate one where you're actually selling a goods to your customer. So you need to get rid of your goods from your inventory. And that is an entirely different process. What we're showing here is a simply direct financial accounting invoice, just like we did for vendor. A simple financial accounting invoice directly given to the customer we are not delivering any goods or anything we are simply raising one simple invoice so now proceed to create a customer via your business partner transaction and again proceed to create a vendor via business partner transaction and then proceed to create your customer fy invoice document and also proceed to create your vendor fy invoice document